I'm going to give you three ways that you can pivot into cybersecurity. I get asked every single day, Mike, I need a career change. I have a passion for technology. How can I get into cybersecurity? After 25 years of working in IT and in InfoSec, I found that you need to choose from at least one of three options if you're looking for an entry level job in this field. There are three main paths that you can pick from. The first one is offensive security. Second, defensive security. And third, security auditing. I'm not saying these are the only routes that you can take, but I'm narrowing them down into these three categories. Let me explain. For someone getting into cybersecurity, the playing field is extremely large. Knowing where to start, who to talk to, and which direction can be very overwhelming and can tend to scare people away. Choose a path and develop skills around one of these specific paths, and it'll set you apart from others that are trying to break into this field. I'll try to give you a brief explanation of each path. The first one is offensive security. Penetration testers, often known as a red team. These are the offensive players in security. They find vulnerabilities, holes in networks, bugs in applications, and basically try to find the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. The risk of vulnerabilities is communicated to the business then after, the, after they're found, as well as advising on mitigation techniques and helping them understand the possible impact to their organization. If you choose offensive security, you need to set up your own labs, learn industry standard tools such as Kali, Nmap, Metasploit, other tools within. Learn to use these tools inside and out. For application penetration testing, learn what OWASP is. Learn how to use Burp, made by Port Swigger, and study the OWASP testing guidelines. These things themselves are not going to make you a pro penetration tester, but if you dive deep into these tools, learn how they work, learn the language around them, you will have a great start as a penetration tester. All of the tools that I mentioned are free online, at least to get started with. Two, defensive security. Defensive security, also known as blue team, is the course of the is of course a defensive side of security. Learn how to watch for anomalies, detect intrusions. This type of work typically consists of working in a SOC, which is a security operations center, where you'll be part of a team helping protect that organization's digital assets. If you choose defensive security, start by diving into learning network packets. Learn how to read the wire, meaning using tools such as Wireshark and being able to break down packets and understand them. Learn about different SIM tools. SIM solutions stands for Security Information and Event Manager. I started years ago by installing tools such as Snort, OSIM, OSEC, and others. Just getting familiar with what Splunk is. Just play around. This won't make you a pro, but it will also give you the knowledge and language and some know-how on how to get on the blue team. The third one is security auditing. I'm going to talk about this more in the next video, but security auditing is another sector of this industry that is on fire right now, and you don't have to be super technical. Please chime in if you have any questions. If you want to see my next video that I have coming out on security auditing, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Hit me up, connect. I'll be more than happy to help you out. This is my passion. This is what I love to do.